Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. So today I will be doing a pick a card reading. We're going to see what is popping off in your life. Since it's the 4th of July, I just wanted to see what good tidings is Spirit bringing you. These messages are timeless. They will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I have three groups. We have the first group with the red rose bracelet. The second group is the star. And the last group is the white bracelet. So I want everyone to take their time, meditate, see which group is speaking to you the most. And I will jump into the reading. The timestamps will be below. Hello Pile 1. So if you chose Pile 1, you chose this red bracelet. We are going to get into your messages and see what is popping off in your life. So the first message is the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups and the Six of Wands. So we have the Queen and King of Cups on deck. So I feel like for some of you, I heard a divine connection. I feel like some of you are getting ready to meet a divine counterpart. Um, with this Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this is going to be a relationship that you can invest in. Um, someone who will also be open to investing in you. With this Nine of Swords energy, for any of you who have been feeling down, who have not been feeling like yourself lately, who has been worried, um, just really going through a lot of anxiety. There's going to be someone who comes into your life to offer you hope. Someone who's going to lend a helping hand. I'm just looking at this Queen of Cups and it's like there's going to be someone who comes in to help soothe over any worries, any concerns, any doubts that you have. Um, this person is going to be very nurturing. For some of you, I'm getting that this may be a mother figure that is going to come and offer you some advice who's going to come and really be by your side during this challenging time um i feel like some of you are very worried about something some situation an issue i heard breakup so for some of you you may have recently ended a relationship and your mother um for some of you spirit says like this is a friend but someone's going to come and be right by your side while you're going through this difficult transition yeah, this person is just very nurturing, very caring. That's what I'm getting. This person is definitely going to help you overcome the situation. Um, I heard go out. This person may even take you out, um, take you to do different things just to get your mind off of the circumstances you're experiencing. Um, I feel like for others of you, if you have been pouring into some type of project, investing into some, some type of um, endeavor business your career I do see this paying off for you continue to invest continue to pour into this continue to put in the effort and the time um, with this six of wands spirit says that you're moving towards something better so for some of you you are moving towards something better um, you are getting ready to experience an elevation in life I heard change 
For some of you, you're getting ready to experience a significant change. For some of you, this has to do with your career. Um, this is going to be some type of project taking off. Um, you've been working very hard and this like spirit is getting ready to reward your efforts. For others of you, this is going to be a relationship. You finally meeting your divine counterpart. You finally meeting your match. Someone who's equally yoked with you. Having a very balanced connection. Um... For those of you who are in this Nine of Swords energy, I see you just moving away from this. Um, I heard heal. I see you healing from this disappointment. Whoever this person is, whether it's a friend, whether it's your mom, or some type of mentor, a mother figure in your life, this person is really going to help you get over this challenge. I feel like you're going to be able to see the brighter side of the situation and gain a different perspective of the circumstances that is currently affecting you. So let's pull the final message. I have giraffe spirit. See the bigger picture. Yes, spirit confirms it. Pile one, you will be able to see the bigger picture of the situation. A song just came to me. Trouble don't last always. So this situation is fleeting. It's temporary. Um, this is not something permanent. This is just something that you had to go through. Spirit says experience. This was to teach you a lesson, was to um, help you evolve, grow. This was something that I heard different perspective that took place in order to help you gain a different perspective when it comes to your life and when it comes to yourself and Spirit says relationships, especially um, for those of you where this is about a breakup, Spirit says when it comes to your relationships. Spirit says knowing your worth, so for some of you, um, this is about you learning your worth, learning what you deserve, and not putting yourself back into a situation where you are settling. So yes, seeing the bigger picture. So yes, you will be able to gain a different perspective over your life. And for those of you where this is about a career, a project that you're working on, um, Spirit is saying like sometimes you can get bogged down in the details that you don't really see the full scope of everything that's going on around you. Spirit wants you to have a mindset of abundance. Spirit wants you to be appreciative of everything that you are accomplishing, the big and small accomplishments. Um, do not ignore the small successes because they're just as important as the big successes. And for those of you where this is about a relationship, seeing the bigger picture. Spirit says like your past. Your past experiences, the past disappointments that you have been through have taught you a lot about self, have taught you a lot about love, a lot about what you want. And even though for some of you, I heard like pessimistic, you may have started to view situations or relationships from a negative perspective this person is going to come into your life and they're going to change your mind when it comes to love when it comes to connections this is going to be a soul connection like seeing the bigger picture the bigger picture for you is that god spirit was preparing you for this person so pile one these are your messages i hope they resonate Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed. Hello, Pile 2. So if you chose Pile 2, you chose this star. So we're going to get into your messages and we're going to see what's blowing up in your life. What changes can you expect? So the first message is the chariot. Okay, Pile 2. The high priestess. I have the higher offense. Okay, Pile 2. We have the lovers. And we have the emperor. Okay, pile two. So what is getting ready to take off in your life is a relationship. Yes. A relationship going to 
a higher level for some of you this is going to be marriage yes a divine union for those of you who are in a connection um, expect some type of proposal but your relationship is definitely leveling up um, for those of you who are single this is going to be you meeting a divine counterpart um, you meeting a soulmate spirit says um, with this emperor yeah this is going to be a person of status for some of you this person is well off um, financially stable um, this is someone that you will be able to grow and build with I heard like modest lifestyle I'm getting that even though this person may have a lot um, they may not come off as someone who is financially stable or who has a lot of money um, this person is very modest um, they don't like to show boats. Um, they're not flashy, but this person is in the energy of the emperor. Um, I feel like I heard like well to do for some of you. This person um, is going to come for a, a well to do family. But yeah, this person is very modest. Like you may not even know that this person has money. Um, but yes, this person does. I heard business for some of you. This person is going to be a business owner. But yes, you're meeting an emperor. Um, I also heard intuition for some of you. You're going to start to experience an increase in your intuition, third eye expansion. Um, yeah, I heard intuitive. You're going to become more intuitive. I also heard like light and darkness. So for some of you, you may be doing some shadow work. So that could be something that is coming into play for someone. I'm looking at this lover's card and I'm getting children. So for some of you, you may find out that you're pregnant um, or that you're expanding your family. With this higher fan, I heard school. Some of you may be going back to school, maybe um, furthering your education. I heard college. You may be going back to college, furthering your studies. Spirit says with this chariot, your career is getting ready to take off. So things are definitely getting ready to improve when it comes to your career. I heard like job offer for those of you if you've been looking, searching for a job, um, get prepared to receive um, some type of job offer coming in. Also her promotion for someone you're going to get a promotion. Yes, and I'm looking at this high priestess. It's like you're going to be in a leadership position. Going back to the emperor, spirit says you're going to be very well taken care of. For some of you, you're becoming this emperor. Spirit says success. Yes, you're working towards success and you're going to be in the energy of the emperor. I heard family. For some of you, you're moving towards your ten of pentacles. Generational wealth. You're going to be able to provide for yourself and your family. Pile 2, this is just a great spread. Love. Career advancement. Abundance. Financial prosperity. Yes, this is beautiful. So let's look at your last message. It says, Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. So yes, Pile 2, you may be collaborating with someone when it comes to a project. For those of you where this is about a career, I heard business, business opportunity, so you may be collaborating with someone. And for those of you where this is about a relationship, yes, you will be collaborating with someone. You will be entering into a union, a divine union. So pile two, this is your message. I hope it resonates. Remember to have a safe and blessed week and stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed. Hello, Pile 3. So if you chose Pile 3, you chose this white bracelet. So we're going to see what is... 
taking off in your life. So the first message that I have is strength, the five of swords, the queen of pentacles, the emperor is okay, pile three, and the high priestess, okay. All right, pile three. I heard I will win at all cost. DJ Khaled's song, all I do is win, win, win. Yes, Pio 3, all you do is win. Pio 3, you're winning. You are winning. I heard challenges with this Five of Swords. Some of you may um, have been going through some challenges, some issues um, in your life, in your personal life. And I just heard the you. You will defeat this issue. I heard co-workers, for some of you, um, you may be having issues at work. Spirit says, victory is yours, pile three. I feel like you have people around you who are jealous of you at your job. People who are jealous of your abilities, your skills. You get a lot of attention at work, pile three. And people notice you. You stand out. You have, you exude, um... A very high level of confidence and authority. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, um, you're getting ready to go to the next level when it comes to your finances. Um, I'm seeing a promotion and a raise for some of you. And I feel like that is why people are trying to block you because they know what you're capable of. They're trying to block your success. But you're still going to sit on your throne, Pile 3. Yes, I see a, a, some of you really expanding in terms of your finances um i heard business owners for some of you you are business owners or you are going to be business owners i heard clothing so for some of you you may have a clothing business or own a clothing store i heard like online for some of you you may be selling products online i heard feminine so some of you may be selling um feminine products online you know such as clothes hair care makeup jewelry um, but yeah, I just see you being, you know, in boss status. I'm um, just really owning your life, you know, owning your future, taking hold of what's before you, trying to just create the stability that you want for yourself, Pile 3. With this Empress, Pile 3, it's like you go from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. Yes, the world is your oyster. Yes the ti song and you can have whatever you like so yes spirit is saying you can have whatever you like i heard manifest a lot of you are manifesting you're manifesting success you're manifesting abundance you're calling things into your life that you want that you desire um, i heard lucrative for some of you you have i'm um, a very lucrative um offer coming in in terms of your career business i heard modeling for someone you have a modeling contract that is going to be presented to you um with this queen of pentacles i'm just getting that for some of you you get a lot of attention yes i heard for some of you you get a lot of female attention for others of you a lot of male attention for some of you it's both but yes you get a lot of attention for your looks pile three with this high priestess, I just see you listening and trusting your intuition, um, being very intuitive, um, trusting your higher self. I heard downloads. I feel like for some of you, you're going to start to get a download, a lot of downloads. Um, Spirit is saying, pay close attention to your dreams, Pio 3. Um, especially when it comes to your career, the success that you want to achieve. Um, I heard manifestation. Some of you um, may be doing manifestation practices. You may have a manifestation journal. Um, Spirit is saying like your dreams are going to be very important. It's going to be key to you manifesting. Um, in your dreams, like the steps are going to be laid out on what you need to do and how you need to do it. So let's look at your final message. Porcupine Spirit. Time for beginner mind. I'm getting like for some of you, you're getting ready to start a new project. You're getting ready to start a new project.
Spirit says, like, don't quit. Don't quit until you reach your goal, regardless of any challenges or obstacles that you may face. It's time for you to be in the energy of the Page of Wands. Yes, for some of you, that's the energy you're going to possess, the Page of Wands. You're starting something new. Um, I heard like a creative spark. For some of you, you're getting ready to have some type of creative spark. Um, I heard like unknown abilities. So you may be tapping into an unknown creative, an unknown creative ability that you have. So pile three, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.